Today I'm meeting with Fatima Otori to talk about Google Cloud Launcher and how I can get my site into the cloud in less time than it takes to order a tall Americano. Fatima, so you work on Google Cloud Launcher. Yes, I do. Tell us all about it. What does it do? Google Cloud Launcher is Google's implementation of a software marketplace. Okay. And what that means is it's really a an online store for VMs, right? So these are VMs that run on top of Google Cloud Platform okay. and host or represent some of the popular applications that you as an individual developer or even businesses can come on there and and okay. create solutions for what they need. So for example, I, if I want to build a website with WordPress, it's going to give me everything for that? Yes, exactly. So uh, in Cloud Launcher today, we're hosting a number of software packages, popular like WordPress and then mm -hmm. other ones that are more enterprise related. And so you can go on there and you can find a WordPress VM um, okay. that's really essentially been pre-configured for you. And so in a, within a few clicks, you can be up and running with your own personal website. So that can be pretty complex, right? There's the, there's the virtual machine with its operating system, you're going to have like the language like PHP, the database, the, mm -hmm. the software and all the bits to link it all together and that can be done with like one click type launch? Yes, so the advantage for Launcher is exactly to take away that complexity from the end user. And so when these VMs are packaged and supplied by our third party providers, they take care of all that for you. So they come pre-configured with the OS, the database, wow. um, and any other any other application dependencies that you would need. Uh, so if you're running WordPress, your MySQL instance is already pre-configured in that VM. Nice. And so for you as an end user, you can really get up and running within a few clicks. You do have uh, the, the flexibility to pick the size of your VM, which is the size of your machine, um, based on how much you think your workload will be. Okay. But within a few clicks, um, you can deploy and you can have a WordPress site up and running. That is really cool. Because I've built a few WordPress sites in my time, and yeah. it's all that plumbing and all that getting stuff to work. It's, like, yeah. it's worth it in the end because it's terrific, but it's, it's a lot of fiddling. So. Yeah, yes. it is. And, and Cloud Launcher is really the easiest way for end users to explore Google Cloud Platform. And, and for that reason. Cool, cool. So can I put you on the spot and ask you to demo it? Of course. Nice. That's why I brought my laptop. <laughs> you came prepared. I came prepared. So let me just log into my machine right now. And so if you can see, I'm just going to easily access the Cloud Launcher site by going to cloud.google.com slash launcher. That brings you to our cloud store. As you can see, uh, we're featuring a number of popular packages up top. But if you know what you're looking for, like WordPress, we also okay. have a search bar where you can go and type in WordPress, okay. and you can see your different options for WordPress. And so here you have three different options, one for running just a single uh, website and then a multi-site uh, okay. WordPress instance. Nice. And, and so you're free to select e either one. Well, I'm not popular enough to have a multi-site, so I think <laughs> I'll just stick with the single one. That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to select the single site WordPress VM. Okay. Um, as we mentioned before, right, you can see on the right hand side here what's contained in this VM. Okay. So it tells you what operating system is included. It also gives you information about the database that's been pre-configured. The one that I selected is an open source uh, version of WordPress, so WordPress is open source. Mm -hmm. And so there's no pricing attached to the image itself. Right. Of course there is still the underlying compute um, cost. And so why we asked to pick the different machine sites. Exactly. Right? Okay. And so uh, we give you a, an estimate of, of pricing here as well. Got it. As you'll see on the site, uh, we now have uh, commercial solutions on Cloud Launcher, where there is a cost for, for licensing those okay. things. And I assume some operating systems also have a cost associated with oh, that being included yeah. there. So, okay. <clears throat> really neat. So let's build a WordPress. Yeah, and so as you can see, you scroll down and you know, really what's contained on this site is you know, tutorials and documentations on how to get started. But if you're comfortable with that, you can simply click this button that says Launch on Compute Engine. Okay. And so we've done that. And it's opening up my developer console. Mm -hmm. Associated with a project. Exactly, and so I'll just so go and uh, pick a project of mine. And I like so the icon, the little rocket. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, we thought that was cute. And so now, before I hit the button to deploy, you know, if I want to give my deployment a new name, I can. Mm -hmm. I select the zone that I, mm -hmm. I want my instance to be uh, spun up on. Um, in my machine size, I have flexibility to select right. that as well. Um, and I'll just go ahead and like, pick a, a more sizable uh, image. Um, and then have a popular site. Yes, of course. <laughs> and then I also have um, my choice of disk. Um, I'll live, live it as is. Mm -hmm. And then you have some networking firewall options as well, right. uh, which I won't change at the time. So I go ahead and click deploy and uh, give that a few minutes to uh, pop up. Cloud Launcher now supports um, Deployment Manager mm -hmm. um, internally. 
And so what this allows you to do is to be able to save any configuration of your environment that you've created okay. and use that template anywhere else on Google Cloud Platform. Okay. Also, you know, if you're doing more than just deploying single VM instance, you can easily manage it through this config UI uh, to specify how many instances of a particular cool. solution nice. you want. And now it's just creating everything, right? Setting yes. Setting up the VM, setting up the, I see the firewall and all yes. that. Cool. So while that is spinning up, I just want to go point out um, some of the other uh, commercial solutions that we have available on Launcher. Um, so I'll click um, Enterprise DB, which is a, uh, our Enterprise Postgres option in Launcher. And I just wanted to point out, you know, so this one is not open source. It actually um, uh, has a price attached to, to okay. it. And, but, you know, just as you saw, you can see the breakdown of the pricing. And so mm -hmm. this, is, this is actually strong for our users because they want to know what they're paying for before they actually uh, invest. budget up front, right? Exactly. And with this solution, you can get full documentation on tutorials of how to use this particular Okay. Uh, solution and you also have a direct link to our partner support and so if you want to to call support here's a link for you to do so nice and so uh, it's up and running and so I'll just go ahead and actually just go to the site itself and here you go your blog is up and running um, of course you have the admin console if you want to go and actually publish content or design your blog however you want it well, from really from nothing you have a full WordPress based infrastructure built in just a few minutes exactly so this is great stuff for me as a developer, but what if I'm an enterprise? What if I like have a lot of these things mm -hmm. to deploy? Is there an offering? Actually, that's a very good question um, because traditionally, you know, of course, developers are always, you know, chomping at bits to see, you know, what's the latest and greatest, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, surprisingly, we're seeing that enterprises are coming to or taking advantage of a marketplace such as Cloud Launcher uh, to test out, you know, new solutions. Not only to test, but also, you know, when they do get ready to. Uh, deploy something in production, they can do that right from the Cloud Launcher today. Right. Um, and so if the, today in Cloud Launcher we are hosting just single VMs, but we have now a uh, deployment manager. So think of deployment manager as uh, the enabler to deploying many, many um, instances uh, versus just that one, um, right. and which is what enterprises are looking for. Not only deploying, but being able to, to manage it centrally as well. Yeah, and, and it's a great way to test a new software stack without exactly. investing in all the hardware. That is, right? That's exactly right. And we see enterprises taking advantage of that as well. Cool. Interesting. Yeah. So where do you fit into all of this, Fatima? What do you do here at Google? Yeah, so I work on a team called the Google Cloud uh, Partner Team. Okay. And our main job, our sole job, is to bring the best of breed partners to Google Cloud Platform okay. to enable our end users uh, freedom of choice. I work primarily with the, with the partners that we onboard onto the cloud launcher. Okay. And we do everything from verifying these packages, making sure that they're up to date and they are what they say, they do what they say <laughs> they will do on Google Cloud Platform. So we work with partners to bring that solution to the store, but then we also help uh, them spread their message and what the right way to use the solution is to the right. end user. Actually, you bring up an interesting point because when you're saying it's like you want to verify that it's the right thing, like if I'm getting WordPress, that it really is WordPress. But what also then happens, like if I, we've now just built a WordPress site together, mm -hmm. what happens then when WordPress gets updated? Do I need to go and start fiddling to update or? Yeah, no, that's a good question. And I think, you know, this is something that separates uh, the experience that users get from using Cloud Launcher versus some other marketplaces they may okay. know out there. And so going back to what we do as a cloud platform partner team, mm -hmm. all of the partners that we bring on board, uh, we make sure that you know, it's not just a transactional relationship, right? The right. images they provide for us in the store, we make sure that when they do have an update on there, they notify Google. I like to use the analogy of an app store. Okay. Today, when you go to an app store, you download an app, mm -hmm. um, you install it on your phone. When there are updates, you get push notifications. Got it. Yeah. Same thing on Cloud Launcher. We make sure that our partners are able to adequately notify uh, any of the users um, who are, who's using right. their solution on Cloud Launcher. And so this is uh, sort of the, the support mechanism that we've built into Cloud Launcher. Very cool. So yeah, because I've like if I'm building something, I've got multiple pieces of software in the yep. stack, right? There's the operating system, the language, the database, the, the software tool itself. Yep. And any of these can have security patches. Yeah, and exactly. That's, ah. that's one of the um, uh, main um, 
if I can say, disadvantages of using some uh, software marketplaces, uh, because uh, traditionally what you've seen, what we've seen is that people go and they deploy software. The first version is great, and you know they're happy, and their project is up and running. But pretty soon, um, security vulnerabilities pop up, right? right? And they don't get notified. And so essentially, uh, we say, you know, from the second they deploy that software, it's essentially dead, right? Yeah. And and we're trying to avoid that that problem with okay. Cloud Launcher. And so they would get automatic updates um, if there's any change to to the solution that they're running. Right. So yeah, if I'm an IT admin and I've got hundreds of sites that I'm looking after, yeah. right? It's one personal WordPress site is one thing, but if I've got hundreds of them, exactly. I need to know which ones are working, which ones need updates, and yep. so you're pushing updates about that to me. Yes, exactly. That's really cool. Yep. How would I get started if I want to build my own WordPress instead of having you do it for me? So you can go to cloud.google.com slash launcher okay. and create your own Google account, and you have free will to use what you see there in the cloud store. Nice. So cloud.google.com slash launcher. So go check it out now. Maybe you'll build a wonderful site on WordPress or on something else. So please uh, let us know if you have any questions for me or if you have any questions for Fatima. Let us know in the comments below and we'd love to see what you build. Thank you.